New Year serves as a great time to reset, but should we encourage our kids to join us in setting healthy and realistic goals? Joining us via Zoom to break it all down is child psychologist Dr. David Shirella. Dr. C, good morning and Happy New Year. Good morning, Melina. Happy New Year to you and everybody at WFMJ. Yeah, so we want to kind of move into our New Year's resolutions, but we're not sure if we should bring the kids in with those, you know, New Year resolutions. Maybe asking them to do better in school, maybe making goals for sports. What are your thoughts on that? Well, I, I think, first of all, setting goals is a very good activity for families to do, and uh, especially children, because it helps them develop a sense of responsibility. It develops their self-confidence, on and so forth. So I think it's a very healthy activity. I would shy away from the idea of saying, let's do New Year's resolutions and just lean in and say, this is a new year. And so we're going to sit down as a family and each of us are going to develop goals and we're going to talk about how we're going to achieve those goals. So the first thing um, that I recommend is that every member in the family choose one, two, three goals that they want to achieve. Keep the numbers small. Don't say, all right, you know, I got 10 goals that I want to achieve because that becomes unrealistic. So um, the second recommendation I have is that let children choose their goals. You know, as you just mentioned, you can have a goals for behavior, like I think I'm going to listen better, I'm not going to treat my siblings better, I'm gonna be a better friend, I'm gonna get better grades, I wanna be a better dancer, I wanna be a better soccer player. So there are a number of different areas. Uh, and so that becomes part of the process of talking about how you're gonna set these goals and what the goals are going to be. Most importantly, break the goals down into smaller steps. I call it a goal ladder, so that you have little goals that are achieved as you're working up to the big goals, such as like, I'm going to get better grades. And so uh, it's important for the family to have checkpoints along the way to reward each step, and then to talk about um, what might be getting in the way, what kind of obstacles might there be that prevent uh, are achieving the goals. But I think if we keep it on a family level, it gets everybody involved and then we can all talk about it uh, and it becomes a family process, a family um, activity and it increases the likelihood that we're going to start to achieve some of these goals. So we're trying to steer away from saying New Year's resolutions, I think for adults too, but like you said, it's a good time to Look at things as a fresh start. It's a new year. And I love that you said setting realistic goals and that ladder with rewards, hey, to give them something to look forward to and give them a push to do better at the things that they uh, need to get better at, whether it's schools or sports or behavior, as you mentioned. Right. And I think that if we keep it in the family, so to speak, um, <clears throat> we can then have a discussion you know, like what's getting in the way? What's happening? How come you're having a harder time going up that ladder? And so I think the important thing there is that kind of thing helps children deal with, um, like I'm not doing so well, what do I have to do to do better? You know, so it increases our perseverance and our persistence towards reaching a goal. And it also increases our resilience. Like um, I was struggling and then we found a solution and now I'm back on track. So I think those are the kinds of things that are well learned in this kind of an activity. And it sets the stage for children to have these kinds of behaviors and these activities internalized so that as they grow older, they continue to do it for themselves and, and have less of a reliance on adults to do it for them. I love it. Thank you so much, Dr. Shirella, for joining us this morning. Healthy living for kids. Great advice. So yeah, encourage your kids yeah. this year to set goals to be better in whatever area they may be struggling in. Well, it is now time for the question of the day.